No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? This your big homie, MC Ron Ski. Y'all know what it is, man. No chill, no filter TV. Thanks for tuning in for this prediction vlog, man. And first things first, let me, oh, man, just say uh, rest in peace to my big brother, Big Rude, man. You know what I mean? Rest easy, big bro. I still can't believe I'm saying this about you, and my heart goes out to the people that were injured and the firefighter that was killed, man. I'm... That's about all I can say about that, but in any event, man, this is for you, brother. All right, now that we got that out the way, not something that I can just easily put to the side. Um, <clears throat> Y'all know what it is, man. This is another prediction vlog, and we're going to get through it right now. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I'm not going to hold y'all too long because I have a whole lot going on, but I want to speak on this prediction vlog. The reason why, I, first off, the reason why I'm doing this a week before the actual event is because every time I turn around, you got things changing. You got venues changing. You got battlers not wanting to come or not or whatever happened. You know what I mean? Whatever the case, the car changes for for whatever reason. Speaking of which, shout out to my man G. Gray. His venue did change. It is now um, down at the barber shop. I don't have that information in front of me. My bad. Um, where where uh, Spit That Heat be throwing their stuff at? It's at the barber shop. I do believe the name of it is End Zone. In any event, let's go get off into this, man. May the 26th, Heat Rock event, 3121 at Hangover Sports Bar, 3121 West Greenfield Avenue. Opens up at 4.30. Make sure y'all get there at 4 o'clock, man, so we can start on time. So I can go ahead and get everything out the way so we can go ahead and party. You feel me, man? I don't want to be down there all night. So, well, I mean, I will be down there all night, but I don't want to be down there all night shooting. You feel me? Okay, so in any event, man, let's go ahead and start this, man. We're going to start. We ain't going to go to the main event. We're going to go from the undercard all the way up to the main event. First things first, we got Prince Brew versus 6'5". I know who Prince Brew is. I got him. I got Prince Brew. Prince Brew is the homeboy. He, he battling 6'5". I got Prince Brew winning that. Um, because I did see Prince Brew once before and he said that he had been battling for not that long. I don't know if that, but he was definitely in the tournament and he made like I want to say to like the third round, if I'm not mistaken. And I forget who took him out, but he did a good job. And I think that Prince Brew is going to definitely take that. Um, second battle, D-Nice versus Bobby Pesos. I'm going to say D-Nice, and you want me to tell you why I'm going to say D-Nice, man? Because y'all act real scattered, dude. I, I'm really starting to think that people is scattered D-Nice. D-Nice was ducked three, count them, three times, man, in one event at the Jack City Battle League event. Shout out to my man, uh, Banks. You know what I mean? The Jack City Battle League, go hard to go home. I guess they both came together and made a dope event, man. Three battles, they was all fire. Um, D-Nice was supposed to have battled, man, and I'm talking about it was three switch-ups. Three switch ups and then nobody show up. Come on, man. You know what? I got D nice. Bobby Pesos, you my mans and all, but I think <sighs> show up. That's all I'm gonna say. I got D nice, man, because D nice his his work ethic is on on point, man. He 100 with it, and I'm starting to think that people are scared of him. And I think that D nice right now got up got so much pent up anger that he is just he he gonna come with that fire. I, I got him coming with that fire, man. He gonna he gonna take care of his business. Bobby Pesos, you already know, man. You you already one of my undercard favorites, man. But you know what? I got to put D-Nice out there like that, man, because the man done been ducked. Not to mention the last battle that he coming off of. He choked against Jay Ackwright, which is a battle that I feel should have dropped. And it's not only good to drop it, and I ain't not not to be putting nobody out there, but to let them see exactly where they messed up at so they won't do it again. It's like uh, what they call game tapes, you know what I mean? You got to put that type of stuff out there, man, so a person can see, okay, you know what, I can't do that again. This is no chill, no filter TV. I am not cutting no chokes. If you choke, everybody going to see it. And you the ones going to have, you going to have to deal with that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Okay, I got D-Nice winning that. J. Ackwright versus Maserati Slick. I've seen Maserati Slick. Um, nothing to say. J. Ackwright has got that fire, and I think J. Ackwright is definitely going to take that. I got J. Ackwright winning that versus Maserati Slick. Buck versus W. Dub. See, Buck got them OG bars. I'm messing with Buck. I'm messing with Buck. I got Buck. Uh, I got Buck doing that, and I hear that W. Dub. And I've did some research on W. Dub. He he fire. But you know what? I got Buck winning that because Buck got them. Buck got them bars. <laughs> you know, he got bars on top of performance. So, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got that, man, ain't no use to you messing with Buck. You ain't got nothing coming with Buck. 
Okay, I got Buck winning that versus W Dub. And then for the last battle, man. Oh my God, Catboy Hurt versus Mr. Mills. Who put that together, man? Who put that together? For real, for real, man. Uh, T. Lou, you know what, man? I don't care what they say about you, man. You, you, you still all right with me, fam. You, you, you cool, all right? Just uh, take care of me, fam. You feel me? Take care of me. Uh, Catboy Hurt versus Mr. Mills, man. Mr. Mills is cold with the rebuttals. Mr. Mills is cold with the freestyling, with the coming off the dome, and, and you know what I'm saying? If you got on flip flops with green toenail polish, man, you best believe. <laughs> I just, I just took a shot at you, Catboy. You my mans, though. You know you right here, fam, in real life. But just know that Mr. Mills is going to come, man, and he ain't going to pull. He's going to pull out all the stops. He is definitely going to, but he going to have to, though. And if I got to pick, and I, of course I got to pick between uh, Mr. Mills and my man Catboy Hurt. I'm a fan of both of the guys, but I got Catboy Hurt taking that. Not only because he is the homeboy, I got him taking that because his pen is, is dangerous. The boy pen is treacherous. I got him taking that because, man, his pen is crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So, with that being said, man, that's been my prediction vlog. Um, Prince Brew. I got Prince Brew over 6'5". I got D-Nice over Bobby Pesos. I got um, J. Ack Wright over Maserati Slick. I got Buck over Dubby Dub. And I got Catboy Hurt over Mr. Mills. Hey, man, once again, y'all already know that I eat my words on cam. You supply the hot sauce, though, in real life. You got to make sure that whatever it is that happens, man, if you going to prove me wrong, you're going to have to prove me wrong in that ring. I'm going to have to see for myself, and I'm going to be recording it. So you know I'm going to sauce it up. So either way it go, when I see it, my recap and my recap, you already know how I'm going to do my thing. So I'm hoping that everybody come with their boots laced, man, and ready to perform, period. Okay. With that being said, man, it's your big homie MC Ron Ski, and as you can see, yes, this is not a mistake. The Bucks are going. They are letting people know that they are the truth and they are real this season. And I, I think I, I think they're gonna they're gonna take it, man. And I'm not a real big, well, I'm not a basketball fan either way it goes. So, uh, but I am a homeboy. They're my homeboys, you know what I'm saying. So I gotta go for the home team, you know what I mean. So yeah, they deserve a, you know what I'm saying, a little old, little old sweater cap or whatever, you know what I mean. Fear the deer or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Bucks, baby, or nothing, baby, yeah. So in any event, in any event, man, this is big homie MC Ryan Ski. No chill, no filter TV. Rest in peace to my big brother, man, Big Rude, man. This to you, man. You will be truly missed, big brother. So check this out, man. Once again, you know I got to say it again. It's your big homie, MC Ron Ski. It's been No Chill, No Filter TV. My prediction vlog for the Heat Rock Battle event, May 26th. Make sure y'all in the house, man. 4.30, get there at 4 o'clock, man. Let's make this another KD versus <laughs> versus GE. You know what I mean? Let's make it another one of those. Let's make it another classic, baby. You feel me? Let's do that. This time we're going to get up out of here, though, man. This is Big Homie MC Ryan Ski. Fear the deer. And I'm about this bitch. Peace. No chill, no filter. <laughs>